iPhones and iPads in the classroom. Who am I? I am Fives, and I'm a math teacher. I'm out of the University of Laverne, and I'm presenting you with some places. I'm going to be showing you some places. If you see a letter that you would like to jump to, click on the annotation next to that letter and you can go to that part of the video. Again, your annotations must be on. What's the P about? P is using the iPad and the iPhone for presentation. The L is for learning. Where can you go to learn about iPhones and iPad apps? A is for assistance in the classroom to help make your classroom run smoother. The C is for calculation, calculators, rulers, protractors. The E is for effects, classroom effects. I don't know if I should have made that effects or affects, because these classroom effects can affect your classroom. And the S is for sharing. How do you get the stuff from your iPad to different places? Let's dive into that P. In that P, we see the presentation. You can use reflectors to mirror your iPad to a computer so you can go to the projector. Mobile mouse lets you step away from the lectern. It allows you to use your phone or your iPad as a trackpad for a computer that you're mirroring to. SyncPad is a way that your students can write on your iPad from their iPads or iPhones or even computers. So that you could do like online office hours. Prezi is what I'm using to do this presentation. It's an alternative to PowerPoint. Paper or some other writing device is something that you're going to want to get in order to write smoothly on your iPad or your iPhone. And then if you want to make a pretty presentation quickly, you could use Haiku Deck. And I'll be showing you all of these, and if you want to see any of them individually, click on the annotation next to them, and you'll be taken to a video for those apps. Now we're back to these places. Where do I learn about this stuff? That's what the L's for. I get my information from, believe it or not, Pinterest, sometimes Twitter, and a lot of times from you. What's the A? The A is for assistance. What can you use to assist yourself in the classroom? Well, if you want to get your book up on the projector, you can use CourseSmart. That's going to work for just about any book. And remember, if you want to see any of these in depth, click on the annotation next to the dot. That'll get you to the video for that particular topic. Next topic is another book presenter. It's the Pearson eText if you have a My Math Lab account and you have adopted a book for that account then you can access the book through their apps. The Pearson eText app, Puffin. How do you get My Math Lab up to your iPad? Well, for now you have to use a flash player that plays on their servers and beams it to you. One such flash player is Puffin. I have FBW written right there for find a better one. There's some other ones like Swifter and Rover and other ones. Anyways, let's see. Let's get off that A's. We're back to our places. Let's see what C's about. C's about calculation. Calculators, rulers, graphing, and protractors. Go ahead, click the annotation you want to see the explanation, explanation, or reviews on all of these tools. Back to places. Let's see how we can effect our classroom. Classroom effects. Well, Socrative is a nice one. Click that video. You can make a meme. You can be popular. They're popular, like on Facebook and stuff. You know, you have it. If you have a probability class, you may want to get electronic dice. Ha! <laughs> That's how I roll. Etch light. That's an etch-a-sketch. 
Etch-a-Sketches are really good for introducing parametric equations. Click that video if you want to see more on that. What if you're in an algebra class and you want to talk about auto loans? There are so many apps out there for auto loans. And you don't need an Elmo anymore, even though you want to tickle it. A dot cam. You can turn your iPad or iPhone into a dot cam. Click that annotation to see that video. What if you want to write on a picture? Avery is a 13-year-old's dream. You can do so much with Avery, including take notes on pictures. Remember your annotations need to be turned on and click any of the annotations in order to see in-depth explanations on all of these apps. Back to the places. What's the S for? The S is for sharing. Sharing is caring. And let's see how we can share. First and foremost, Dropbox, essential, get one. Evernote, very similar. Click the annotations to see more on those. Pencast, if you are still using Pencast, there are apps for pencasting, pencastic. Blackboard, some of you guys have course management systems, and there are apps for all of them. Show me. This is how you can capture video on your iPad and share it through a community. Screen Chomp works much similar to it. Show Me has um, social built into it. Screen Chomp is a website where you upload. And the one I prefer, Doseri. Doseri um, actually gives you the movie file. Please click on that link so I can show you what's up with that. Also, you can share using iBooks. Probably not going to make a video on that. But anyway, that's that. And those are some places. Once again, this is iPhones and iPads in and out of the classroom. I'm Frank Ives, out of the University of Laverne. Hope you like this. And if you like this, check out my edutaining math videos. Music